So President Trump at a rally last night in Montana and on Twitter this week has been escalating his comments on immigration. This comes just a few weeks before the midterm elections. He seized on a caravan of migrant uh, people in Central America who are making their way toward or trying to make their way towards the U.S. border as an example of why his hardline immigration policies are needed. Uh, last night in Montana, he said that the election was going to be about Kavanaugh and the caravan. So this is a sort of an opportunity for Trump to renew and sort of re-up the immigration message that he sees as being successful in getting him to the White House uh, in 2016. Uh, his promises of building um, a wall along the U.S.-Mexico border, of being tougher on illegal immigrants, were very uh, popular with the voters that delivered him the White House. And Trump has really tried to cast the midterm elections as a referendum on himself, his policies, his presidency. And so he sees returning to immigration and, 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 es and elevating that issue as a way of connecting with those voters and getting them out to the polls as Republicans are trying to contend with extremely um, enthusiastic Democratic voters. A lot of the campaigning the president is doing is in areas, you know, very uh, red areas where he is very popular. So last night he was in Montana in a state where he, a state he carried in 2016, a state where he's very popular and it was received very well. Those messages were received very well. The question is, could it have are there basically risks and rewards to this uh, strategy?